Hello everyone and welcome back to the DEB Gen on Spooktober. Today we are going to go through the middle portion of our Halloween mods. Thus, there are 10 mods that pertain to Halloween or have some sort of spooky nature to justify themselves on this list. This of course is a part 2 of 3. And if you have not seen the first episode, I definitely recommend that you check it out. Stick around, however, if you have seen it, or you just don't care for order or anything. So without further ado, let us get into these spooky mods. Just like last episode, we're going to start out with a play. So, do you guys remember Tales of the Crypt? If you don't, well, you should definitely check up on that. If you have, however, I think that you will be glad to see something like it in the game of Fallout. For our first mod, we have the Crypt Xbox version, version 3 by Luke raw this mod adds exactly what it sounds like it adds it adds a crypt to this area in boston if you walk behind the large memorial there should be a grate accessible for you to use down in the crypt lies a spooky area with about seven ish rooms i believe including the main hall these rooms include a living area a main hall a vending area a storage area an area for your power armor and a crafting room as well as a library area each room has an entire eerie lighting to give off a great atmosphere as well as enough skeletons to make your bones rattle. Ooh, spooky. It is a great base of operations if you like this type of thing. It looks nice and it does certainly feel like a creep crypt. I definitely recommend it. It is really nice. Do you ever get the feeling that you just want to go and kill some campers in the middle of the woods or at a lake perhaps? Particularly in the fog as an undead person wearing a hockey mask? Well if you are that specific about those specific, specific things, then I think you will enjoy this mod. Our mod is the Friday the 13th with Jason Voorhees mod by Wapedell. Wapedell is one of my favorite mod creators and he will be seen once more in this series, so get ready for that. He's great at costume mods and it really shows through the detail, especially on this mod. This mod adds four different costumes for you to play around with to live out your Jason dreams. It adds the Jason 3 costume, Jason 5 costume, Jason 7 costume, and the Jason X costume. These costumes have a very strong armor rating and automatically make people fear you. They will rarely attack you and usually run away. If you do not like that, however, you can use the cosplay costumes. This adds the Jason Act and the Jason Machete as well, and they are extremely powerful. The cosplay costumes, by the way, basically it takes the perks away and you're just a creepy guy in a Jason costume. It's a really well thought out mod and it is fantastically detailed. I love it and it is fantastic. Have you ever wanted to be a Commonwealth Chainsaw Massacre? Well, now you can with the Murdering Chainsaw by Tricky Vane. This mod takes the buzzsaw from Automatron and makes it available for you to use as a melee weapon. It cuts like a chainsaw. Does that mean it cuts like a chainsaw? But the heavy attack is just you swinging the chainsaw. The chainsaw can be found on raiders and through vendors. I found mine in Diamond City as a rusty chainsaw. Be sure to look for the name. It won't just be called Chainsaw. You have to be a level 13 or higher to obtain this chainsaw, by the way, which shouldn't be a problem. The chainsaw comes with four different chains, a variety of colors, and a couple of decorations. It's not the most effective weapon, per se, but I enjoy it. It is a lot of fun to play around with. Before getting this mod, I'll let you know that you need Automatron for this mod. I had to buy Automatron for this mod. It was on sale, though, so I was fine with it. But that's just a heads up, you do need Automatron for this mod. Are ghouls really boring to you? They all look the same to me at least. Well if you'd like to change that, we have the Decay mod for ghouls by King Toby. This mod makes the original ghoul seen here turn into a rotting or decaying ghoul seen here. It adds a whole new level of detail to the ghouls that is really appreciated. The ghouls all have a different decaying factor, you will see more of that in the next mod specifically, which is why I'm cutting this short right here. It is a greatly detailed mod that looks great and I would definitely recommend. Do you want a challenging Halloween themed mod for Fallout 4 that tests your limits? Well, I might have just found the mod for you. This mod is called A Nightmare in Diamond City by Spider Mite. You go to sleep in this shack at the back of Diamond City. You go to well, you go to sleep and you fight stages of ghoul hordes and some death claws. This mod will be fun for others and not so much fun for others. If you're looking for a serious mod that actually does something for your game, this might not be the mod for you. But if you're looking for a challenging mod 
just for fun. This is certainly something you should check out. The guy didn't put a, a whole bunch of detail in it, but everything has its own little uniqueness to it, and I really appreciate that. I played it legitly after I made this footage, and I had a lot of fun with it. I think you might have a lot of fun with it too, so I hope you enjoy. Are you up for a spooky thrill that will randomly appear in the commonwealth and try to kill you? This thing could also give you some really cool, neat stuff. Well, if that is true, we have the mod for you. We have the Plague Doctors of the Commonwealth Xbox version mod by Legree. I believe Legree was actually on one of my other mod showcases. I'm not sure. I did not know how to lead into that mod, so I'm going to just give you the details. Random plague doctors have been placed around the commonwealth. They are kind of hard to find and pretty rare, but I found one here. After engaging in the battle with these things, they don't really stop. They will run, but eventually come back, and they are really hard to kill. After killing them, you can only find certain drop items. I got the mask slash helmet thing, but you can get many items, and the crane is the highest dropped item. That brings me to a problem with this mod. When the plague doctor hits you, he stuns you, and if he keeps hitting you, well, this happens. I figure you won't just run, right? It's kind of annoying, but it can be funny, so you be the judge. I really enjoy this mod, actually, and recommend that you pick it up. It's like a little encounter every time you go out into the Commonwealth. It could or could not happen. It adds a, a layer to the Commonwealth. It's like, ooh, will you see this plague doctor this time? Ooh, he's gonna stun you. Ooh, he's gonna hit you. He's gonna be spooky. Our next mod is a quest mod that you can do in order to become a demon summoner thingy majigger. I don't I don't really know. This mod is the Rise of the Necromancer mod by Master Magnus. This mod has three different parts to one quest where you run uh, around and become a skeleton rising necromancer. Not a joke. I'm not sure how everything works, but it has its own little story that I can appreciate. A lot of time and work put it was probably put into that. It has really good voice acting as well. You receive two weapons from this and the power to raise skeletons from the grave. I'm not done that yet, but this mod is definitely something fun to mess around with. You also get a couple costumes. Well, one costume makes you a skeleton man. Are you bored of the regular enemies in Fallout and ready for something else? Something creepy and spooky enough to make you want to kill the thing you're fighting? We now have the Rad Spiders mod by Mr. Overseer. There are specific locations for these spiders, and I did try finding them, but it was all to no avail. However, I did find the spider's nest near Nordhagen Beach, how- I say however twice. And the spiders are pretty dang creepy. They look like giant rad spiders like you would expect. They look like a spider, and it's great. And the cool thing is that they are all different in size and speed. It increases the creepy factor, and it is certainly something you do not want to be around. I got the creepy crawlies just fighting them. Ooh. This is a fantastic mod and it is really something special to have. I highly recommend this mod. It's a lot of fun to mess around with. It's greatly detailed and it's really kind of, you want to kill these things because they're spooky and it's really spooky. I don't like spiders, especially big ones. Is dog meat pretty boring to you? Do you not even use dog meat as a companion? Do you have no companions? Do you use dog meat as a companion though? Well, if that's so, well, we have the Shadow Ghost mod by Jake and Bear. All this really does is it makes dog meat a spooky, spooky demon dog? Question mark? Maybe? I don't know, honestly. He turns some black. The tail has like a little red marking on it. He becomes Satan Doggo, in a sense. And there's nothing really special to this mod except, you know, it's like a spooky themed Halloween dog meat. And I, I don't know. I want to travel around the commonwealth with a spooky dog meat during the spookiest time of the year. I don't know who wouldn't. So I definitely recommend that you check out this How mod you doing, if you're buddy? bored of dog meat because he's a popper. Hey boy, think you can find something for me? Do you want the perfect vampire mod for your Halloween needs but you can't really find one because it's kind of hard to find vampire mods because no one makes vampire mods? I looked for quite some time actually. Mm. Well, do I have the mod for you? We have the Xbox One Vasaki Sweet Vampire Slash Daywalker mod by Demons of Cirilla. Demon of Cirilla. It's on the screen. So basically what this mod does is it, you become a daywalker. 
Obviously, this person wanted to make a Daywalker mod, whatever the heck a Vasaki is. I'm sorry, I don't really know. But they wanted to make a Vasaki, which is obviously different from the Vampire. And due to high requests, they put in the Vampire stuff. So basically, what you can do is you go to this area right next to Vault 111. You drink this blood and you become a Vampire. You can turn on the Daywalker settings or the Vampire settings, basically, if you want to take damage from the sun. You can also turn on how much fall damage you want, how high you can jump, and it gets pretty insane. I'd recommend that if you go anywhere above like one that you turn on no fall damage. So it's a really fun mod to mess around with. Also to kill people you get to drink their blood. So it's like the perfect perfect vampire mod. It's really fun to play around with. Just and it makes it so that if you don't have blood and you start dying by the sun, you're going to die. So you need to quench your thirst for blood. So those are all the mods I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun making this episode. I actually wrote a script. Is that not obvious? I talk better. But that's also why it took so long to get out. It was originally supposed to be out Wednesday. Well, Tuesday. And then I decided, you know what? I'm going to write a script this time because they deserve it. And you guys do deserve it. Although it's going to be a couple days late. So Friday. Here it is. I'm sorry. By the way, I stopped the Resident Evil series because I thought that was really, I don't know, you, you, this is not a Resident Evil channel. I'm going to start that Fallout New Vegas uh, Let's Play soon. Just, I hate making promises because I always feel bad and always feel like obliged and then I get really tired for some reason. So when I'm stressed, I get tired and I want to sleep because my brain thinks that sleeping is the best, you know, way to solve stress. How about you guys? So, I'm not gonna promise anything, but I will eventually get around to Fallout New Vegas. I'm very sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. We have one more part to do, 11 mods, and I'm really looking forward to it. Now, I believe this part will have the best mod showcase. The next mod has iffy mods depends on your preference, of course. I think they're good mods in their respects, but this obviously has the best mods that I could find in this episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next spooky video. Goodbye.